friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use chat GPT to write a detailed and targeted resume. I'm going to start off by giving you an example. What you're looking at on the screen is my own chat GPT account. If you're wondering, by the way, how to set one up for yourself, I will be um, telling you how to do that at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to ask a specific question regarding the resume summary, which goes right at the top of your resume typically. Notice how I asked for a short summary and chat's giving me basically like a full on resume. This is an example of one of the limitations of using ChatGPT. It doesn't always give you exactly what you ask for. So you're going to have to edit down the responses and put them in your own words. But you can think of ChatGPT as sort of a conversation starter. I would recommend to include specific details in the questions that you ask ChatGPT, like you can see in this example. I asked Chat to write me a summary about how my stay-at-home mom experience will allow me to be successful in the field of marketing. So in other words, mention specifics about your background and ask Chat to communicate how you can be of value or how you can be successful in your targeted role or field and make sure to list exactly what that is. What is your targeted role? What is your field? And chat will generate uh, um, some very specific information for you. I also want to stress that uh, I mentioned um, a few seconds ago that, that chat GPT obviously has limitations. And my best advice as a career coach is to always put things in your own words, always edit the information. Don't just rely on the chat bot to write your resume. Um, another really important thing that you want to make sure to do is include details, include keywords from each job posting. So ideally you want to be targeting a resume toward every job that you apply for. And the reason that you want to include information from the job posting is because most companies use ATS or applicant tracking systems, you've probably heard of them, uh, to scan and filter resumes. And basically the more keywords that you have on your resume, um, the higher your chances will be to land an interview. So there's, all, there's a lot of different components to think about when you are crafting your resume. ChatGPT is just one tool to help you. It is not like the end all be all um, to write your entire resume. Next example, I asked chat a little more of a specific question and I'll show you again uh, it, an example of um, the interface of ChatGPT here and the exact question I asked. Um, and this time I wanted to incorporate some, some volunteer experience and skill sets of budgeting because my hypothetical career goal here is to become a bookkeeper. So I would want to highlight any record keeping, budgeting experience, whether it's from working inside the home or doing volunteer or other paid work. So that's something to keep in mind that if you have an employment gap, if you have been working inside the home, you've got a career pause, or maybe even you've been laid off and you've taken some time away from the workforce, you, I definitely recommend that you highlight any kind of volunteer, even if it's not paid, it still counts as work experience, or even like freelance or contract types of experiences, or even if you have taken some coursework, you've done any kind of continuing education, maybe you're currently pursuing a certificate or a graduate degree, you can still list that on your resume. Even if it's not completed, you can just put expected and the month and the year, and that definitely counts. In this third example, I'm gonna show you how to use chat to write detailed accomplishment statements for your resume. You might be wondering, what are accomplishment statements? These are basically phrases that go under your work experience um, to describe your either your current job or your past jobs. And you really want, um, the goal is to demonstrate specific achievements or accomplishments versus just listing duties. And the reason you wanna do this is because you wanna show an employer, hey, this is these are the cool things I've done in the past and this is how I can add value to this role and or the company. So you'll notice how ChatGPT uses uh, the first person um, in, in some of the phrases. Um, it uses personal pronouns and um, that's kind of one of the, the weird rule, unspoken rules of resume writing is that uh, the first person is, is typically not used on the resume. So that goes back to, again, um, you know, always making sure to edit the chat responses, uh, putting them into your own words, take out the personal pronouns 
um, and um, don't use first person, you know, go through and make sure that everything is accurate and really reflects your background. The next step is to create your own chat GPT account. You can visit the website that is listed on the screen to create your account and or if you've got an iPhone, this is actually relatively new, I believe, um, there's now an app for ChatGPT, so you can also use it on your phone, on the go, uh, which is pretty cool. And another thing to keep in mind is that ChatGPT, while it is really helpful to, um, to help you generate content for your resume, it cannot format your resume for you and it cannot make it look pretty. So even if you've got a really well written document, but the layout of your resume looks like crap, <laughs> that's not really going to help you too much. So make sure to check out um, in the link below uh, our resume templates. We've got resume templates um, for different industries as well as uh, life circumstances. Like if you're um, a parent returning to work or maybe you've been laid off or you might be targeting like a work from home job. So make sure to check those out. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this one in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.